What's poppin' this Enzo McFly, Enzo? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. OTG underscore Breezy. It's Kel in the building. Why yo, Benji? It's your boy, Mikey Iso. It's your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Ingrid here. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ me, Daniel. It's your girl, your cocky Diana. Man, shout out to GMT Radio, K22 Radio, man. Hey, it's Donovan at D's Universal Hair. I'm here at... GMT Radio Catch 22. Come follow me at D's Universal Hair on my Instagram and Facebook. Virgin Hair at its finest. It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. I go on and on. Can't understand how I live so long. I'm gonna set school back. Oh, okay. Cause I'm up to CC. No, I was gonna sing. But I'm gonna sing. No, bro, don't. It's like the bubble cup that said, "Finish it, dog." You know this? Hey, free. <laughs> hey, that man put on the show. He oh yeah, shout out to Drizzy, Shout out to Drizzy. Um. Anyway, we got a special guest in the building today. Now, this is very different from for us, but I've been waiting on it because I need my hair did. So I'm trying to win this hair. Um, we have Donovan from D's Universal Hair. Virgin yeah. hair at its finest. It's the best hair you can find in the world. No kidding. But anyway, we in this thing. What's going on, Donovan? What's up, what's up, what's up, Houston? What's up, man? Shout out to Houston, man. You guys are a big love to me, man. You gotta show me nothing but love since I've been here, man. Yeah. Shout out. Hey, you white. We wanna keep out of the... Oh, okay, okay. You just said the man wasn't white. white. He was Italian. We don't know white so, so we gotta ask. Like, I, I have to ask. What's the difference? What's it all says the same, man. It's Caucasian on my birth certificate. Thank you. It's all the okay. Same. Okay. Okay. Now you have a beautiful shop that I saw, and I was like, hmm. I'm going in there, buy me some bottles because I need some wet and wavy. I need some uh, 26 inches. Okay, I just want you. To, what's in this box? I want to know what's in this box. I got 18 inch straight Indian. Oh, it's great. Jerry, at its finest, at its finest, pure, pure, pure hair. So let me ask you a question. Let's start this off like this. What made you want to get into hair? Being a, uh, we don't say white dude, man. A white dude getting Caucasian to, to uh, we don't say like, whatever. Get into hair. Captain. What made you want to get into hair? Man, I've been in the African business with this all my life. First of all, I, I've loved African women. Um, I've been around hair extensions all my life. Growing up in school. Um, and I, I started off, man, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I, my life actually almost was ended about four years ago. And uh, I ended up getting some money not too long ago from that. And uh, I'm good at whatever I do because uh, I, I got I to gotta drive out this world. Um, and I didn't know I didn't know what I wanted to invest my money into because what I'm passionate about doing is kind of hard doing it with a nine to five. So whenever I got my money, um, I said, man, what do I want to do? Real estate? Do I want to do a mechanic? Do I want to build chemical trailers? Do I want to build houses? Um, I didn't know really what I was wanting to do. So uh, I just kept asking the Lord, asking the Lord, what what should I do with this? So I can so I can help the community, help everybody, bless everybody as much as I can. So uh, man, I, I went to sleep one night, man. I, I woke up. I mean, I went to sleep. And uh, man, I, I had this dream and it was just weird, it was off the wall. I never seen myself selling hair extensions, having a salon, nothing like that. And uh, I had this quick dream. It was me and this uh, hair, it was this big old hair place, man. It was gorgeous as ever. They had slime, had women walking around, happy as ever, smiling, music playing. Um, there was a couple of bald heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to see how you got the sign. Yeah, they, they, were, they, were getting, they were getting worked on. They were getting worked on. You know? <laughs> um, but no, man, long story short, uh, it was just me in the middle. Everybody was walking around, happy, music playing, people drinking wine, and I kind of woke up from that. And from that forward, moving forward, I knew exactly what I needed to do. So I went and picked out my spot where I wanted to do it at. Um, God brought me straight to it. It didn't even take me long. It took me about three days. I picked the spot where I wanted my location at. That's right there on 249 and 1960. You can check me out. 17687 Town Ball Parkway. Um, and then after that, man, it's every little clientele came my way. My vendors came my way. I was blessed with an amazing vendor. Um, I actually uh, got the chance to fly out there and uh, eat dinner with my vendors. Where you fly out to? Mainland China uh, in India. Um, Bur Burma, it's a small country if nobody knows. It's in between India and China. Um, and I got to uh, kind of just mingle with them. There's some really cool people, man. It's really different out there. Um, but yeah, I got my hair prices. I was, like I said, I was blessed with an amazing vendor, so I got my hair prices at a really, really low price. So instead of me trying to be greedy, you know, God bless me with this. I know I got to get back in my tides. 
this ain't all mine. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna bless Houston, Texas, man. I got y'all back to the fullness for all you single moms out there, for everybody that's working nine to fives. And, and I know the struggle is, is rough. I've been there, lived it all my life. Uh, I was in and out the system when I was younger, um, living on the streets. Um, it's, it's hard, and it's getting, it's getting harder as the day, uh, years go on, you know. So where are you from, bro? I'm from St. Louis. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. So what made you move to Houston, Texas? Um, I actually moved to Louisiana first, man. Uh, me and my kid's mom, my first kid's mom, uh, after I had my second child with her, uh, things just didn't work out, you know? So uh, we didn't split up on bad times or nothing, you know? But uh, she decided to go back to Louisiana where she's from. And I knew right then and there I had to move to Louisiana so I could still be around my kids. So uh, I got me a little uh, tent service, being a uh, uh, hop on the back of the garbage truck. Um, did that, um, worked at Taco Bell, started doing that, man, and I uh, made it to Louisiana. And long story short, I was there for about six years. Um, and then she decided she wanted to move to Texas, Houston, Texas, man. She likes to move around and all over the place. At that time, I was a chemical trailer mechanic for Delta Trailer. Um, and uh, shout out to them. Matter of fact, man, it's an amazing company to work for. We build tanker trailers. Uh, but anyways, she moved to Houston, Texas, man. I was able to relocate. Thank God they had a spot here in Houston, Texas. And uh, now I'm here, man. I've been here for about a year and a half. I love you guys to death, man. You guys are awesome, man. There's, there's a lot of different people here in Houston. Everybody's, everybody's kind of just like warm welcome when I came, man. Everybody's cool, laid back, man. It's Houston, man. Everything bigger in Texas, for sure. I know. So are your kids Italian, too? Uh, no, my kids are actually mixed. They got Italian and African in when you say African, because you said African about four times now, are you meaning straight from Africa? Or are you saying black people? Black and American. Gotcha. Okay. African American. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, I ain't gonna ask you. So let me ask you. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> well, look, we had a question last night. Uh huh. And I feel like it was already answered, though. Huh? I feel like it was already answered. It was. No, I want to know where you're going with this. No, no, no. Oh, we didn't ask the question. question. We asked. Yeah, please. So remember, we were talking about a certain uh, figure in Houston and the word that she chooses to use. Uh -huh. Oh, oh right. That's so. No. No, I think I was. No, wrong. No, go there. No, go there. I, go, no, I, I think want to know. Go. I just want to know. I don't so, like, do you feel like it is acceptable because you have black kids for you to use? That word, and you know what word? I don't have to bring it up. Yeah, the N word. Oh man, I feel like, man, I feel like I don't use it. Um, I mean, I used to, but I, I feel like I don't use it. It's not. I feel like it just means, hey, family. Um, it's mm -hmm. if you want to take it there, um, then I feel like the actual terms is that it can be whether you're white, Mexican, black. It's uh, somebody likes to steal, trash you living. Um, just I feel like it's somebody that wants to be disrespectful all the time. You know. Um, but me, and whenever I use that terms, man, I, I say Mexican family because, like I said, I grew up in, around a lot of uh, African people all my life. I grew up in the hood, the projects. I was born and raised in Winfield, Missouri, in the country, but I grew up in the projects. Um, and I use that terms a lot, but it never meant no disrespect, and everybody knew that. So you have new. Don't say no. 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 But I love everybody, man. I don't right. care what color you are. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So I guess getting into this industry, being it being, uh, I guess, dominated for black people. Did you ever feel like that you would get like ridiculed or you would be like subject to being like called a culture vulture? You know what I mean? Like somebody coming in and like Probably stealing from black culture, pretty much. Um, yeah, it kind of went across my mind a couple of times, man, but I know that's not where I'm at because I'm giving a lot of money back, man. I'm about to be giving so much money back for that support. Um, and, and I've been judged all my life, man. Like right. I said, going to grade school, uh, I grew up in a little country town in Winfield, Missouri, and I went to school. There was one black girl in the whole school. And uh, that was your girl for her. Yeah, I used to. <laughs> I used to walk her home every day, man. I, I used to walk her home every day. It's not a gravel road, man. I used to actually get uh, I used to get bullied a lot for that. Um, I used to get beat up by all the country boys and pull up um and jump out the back of the truck and beat the mess out of me almost every other day, man. Oh, doing man. That. But it never stopped me once. Did you um, it never changed me, you know. Um, I've always been me. I've never been a follower. I've always been a leader. Um, I've been like that all day, all my life. Um, so yeah. Um, so when you moved to the projects, you felt like you was at home. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, hold on, hold on. When he moves to the project, he had only still been with one black girl. Right, but he, it was a it was a plethora around at they that didn't time. Make that sheet. <laughs> 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 I thought she did. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the universal hair. All right, so there's a lot of people out here selling hair. I want to know what is the difference between your hair and everybody else's hair that they have out here in the market. Okay, man, let me first start off with, man, you gotta watch out where you buy hair from. Um, you can think you got some good hair, good hair, but I'm gonna let you guys know, 
about 50 to 65 percent of Houston, Texas, and a lot of other different places, man, they sell, they got animal hair in their hair. Um, not only that, uh, a lot of places nowadays, so they can come up, they're actually getting hair off the bottom of the barbershop floor. Um, you got to watch out for where you buy hair from. You try dyeing it a certain color and it's ruined. Um, it's not good. It might last you three months. It's going to shed so much. It's going to tangle up. You put a flat iron to it and it's going to do nothing but shrivel up and burn. Um, so it's got a lot of fake hairs in it. But uh, with these universal hair, it's pure hair, virgin hair at its finest. It's a single donor. It came off one person's head. So every this one person got a lot of hair. You got a lot of hair. A lot of hair. I know that's right. I'm a witness because you know I comb my hair every day and it don't shed. And on top of that, I flat iron. I put heat on it and it don't shrivel up at all. Like, like and when I sweat yeah. and somebody pull on it, it's, it's bone fat. Oh, that's out. right. You know, yeah, yeah, and, I um, and like it, and, and, and you can wash my hair every day. You can color it. I went through an extensive uh, testing where I washed it, colored it, bleached it. Turn around two days later, did it again. Turn around two days later, colored it a different color. I kept doing it, even though it damages hair. I kept doing it over and over and over, um, just to try to see how long it lasts, man. That stuff, I'm telling you, it's, it's a champ. It, it went round for round. It went round for round. It's like a scrub blade. So is your um is your store open now? Is your salon open now? Is it fully operational? Uh, Dee's Universal Hair will open October 10th. So it's a great opening yeah. party or something? Um, I'm actually going to do a soft opening. Um, okay. It's kind of open up to the public and after two months being open, I'm going to do a grand opening. I'm going to have the radio station there. Hopefully Kes 22 you guys are going to be there to support. I'm going to have Abda there. Um, Sky High is going to be there. Um, I'm just gonna have a lot of different people there, man. Check me out. I'm gonna have uh, chefs there. Um, so free food to the public. Um, everything's free. I'm gonna have free raffling. It's free to join that. Um, get bundles for free. So come check me out. I'm all about giving back to the community. Now, if you need performers, okay. Um, I have a group. Okay. And I'm willing to put on the hair. I don't know if my counterpart will be okay with putting on the hair, but I'm gonna put on the hair. Oh, okay. Well, you don't mind. Um, I have a group. Wait up, the name of the group is Thick and Nasty. Okay. Nasty, okay. Thick and Nasty. We all Thick and Nasty. Okay. okay. Now, usually we do background rapping, and you know, we not really too much ad living, but we really rap. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So now we're going to step in the forefront just for you. Okay. Because this is a special, this is a special event. Wait, what's going on? We're going to rap. Right at the event, no. Oh, at the event. We're going to pull up and we're going to do our thing because that's what we do. We're thick and nasty. Okay. With the hair on. With the hair on. Okay. So if you need like some, some viral, viral stuff, thick and nasty is where you need to go. Okay, okay. So, so I appreciate that support. Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> for real, but you know what's gonna go with like style wise? Uh, I might do like, like a little like. A nice part. I think it's gonna be a bob, you know. I was gonna say, well, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. he has a rounder face. So with a round face, you go with the bob. Yeah. I can make a wig. I don't think you should go bob. I think you should go like. No, 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 Chinese, a swooping bob. I don't think you should go Chinese bangs. I think that's for like girls that got lazy eyes. Ain't got no lazy eyes. Whoa. Oh, the swoop bang in the front? 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 Oh, what color you want to go with? That's because you know how you got to go with the honey blonde. A honey blonde, that's what I was thinking. We should walk in there looking like black and mild. I had a question about this stuff. So, do you have all kind of different hair? Yes, I got uh, I got Indian hair, I got Burmese hair, I got Brazilian hair. Burmese? I got the Burmese. Burmese. Burmese, Burmese right. hair. Oh, from a small country called Burma, in between India and China. Oh, okay. You they got the hair. Hey, China has support. They got that's what I thought. So how did you get linked with your vendors, though? In all honesty, because it almost sounds like an American gangster kind of story when you knew a guy that was already there. Nah, like, real, for real. He flew out there and made it Yeah, you flew out there and made it happen. Like, how did you get linked with this? Uh, I mean, I got... Yeah, I'm not gonna say get into too much detail with that man, but yeah, I know I knew somebody under the radar. Yeah, I knew somebody that yeah. had connections. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, I had connections in that man, and I got blessed with that. 
the swings, uh, all these. Like I said, man, as soon as my vision, I knew exactly what I was Because that wasn't a dream, that was yeah, a vision. Yeah, yeah, everything just started coming in. Everything started coming into place, you know? That story that you told was a little too detailed. I don't remember people walking around in my dream with bald heads and all kind of stuff like that. That I was know. a vision. Man, I remember all my dreams, man. They, they almost like real. Was that one? No. no. Uh, I tried. No. Not only no, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, the first one you've been around is nice. Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to go tell me. Threat. Yeah. 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 We always feel like we're going to stick around with us. I'm ready. Yes, Are you enjoying it? Actually, before we do that, can I give a little couple of shout outs, man? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a couple of shout outs, man, to all my biggest fans out there. Um, Warwick, Anasia, Amaya, Farah, Ariana, that's all five of my kids, man. They've been supporting me he from black. day one. Black, he right black. <laughs> he they black. They've been supporting me from day one, man. Um, e print today. My man Jason on, on Ella in 1960. If you need anything printed, go check them out, man. I got, uh, I have, uh, Blacksmith Photo, um, uh, makeup, uh, makeup Academy. Check out Tom Bramiana. Um, he were, uh, he's in Canada. Uh, man, all my people that been supporting me, kind of giving me different things, man. Telling me about business, helping me out in the way. Um, so where can we find you on social media? He not going nowhere yet, because we're going to play Black Card and Focus. Because he's from oh, the hood. Okay. I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to see how he's going. I think he's going to be I think he's going to beat you. He's going to beat you. How you think he's going to beat me? I'm all black and Wait. Exactly. And when we come back, we're going to play a little bit more of Black Car Revolt. And Donovan's going to stick around. And I'm going to take this hair home. Okay. Just so y'all know, I'm going to get ready for the show that Thick and Nasty got coming up. Uh, we got to we gotta rehearse. Yeah. We got this. Uh, all right, you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Car revolt, right? And this is a game that pretty much tells your blackness, right? So, our special guest has been in the hood a couple of times, you know what I'm talking about? Right. He got a hair salon, you know what I'm talking about? Right. He sell hair to the deep growth individuals, right. the black beautiful queens, right? Shout out to my white Nubian queens as well. Um, white. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said that. <laughs> he said white Nubian. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all playing. No, he was saying that he has extensions for all of them. It's not just for black people. You know, I've been playing extensions, yeah, too. Everybody wear hair. Everybody, everybody wear hair. You get old, your hair starts thinning out, you need some clipping. Yep. It don't matter and what that's you do. Ooh, they show They know his game. game. So I'm going to see how well you know the game, all right? Okay. all right? So we're about to do a round of black car revoke. Now, the first two questions are strictly for you. Okay. So nobody else can answer and nobody else can no, say anything. Good. But you can weigh in at the end <laughs> on what you think think is the right answer, okay? <laughs> so, Donovan. Okay, okay. These universal hair. Who might you see in your local hair and nail salon? A, the oil man. B, the CD DVD man. C, a booster with baby clothes. Or D, all of the above. All of the above. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they all got connections. It ain't about what you know, it's about who you know. They yeah. all, all of them come in. Yeah. All they right. got the CDs, DVDs. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Got that new DMX, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Versace. Got I got the Versace baby clothes. Hey. <laughs> I got two Versace baby clothes. I got two pit bulls, one grown, you get the other one half off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next one is the term for cutting relaxed hair. I mean, it's the term, I'm sorry, for cutting relaxed hair and leaving it all natural. Is it A, scissoring, B, hair splitting, C, the big chop, or D, shingle? Come on, Donovan. Hey, that's A, scissoring. No, I know uh, it's not. Uh, okay, scissoring. so let me explain scissoring. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I'm not uh, because I like to do it. It's when two... Uh, do the, do the, do the, uh, the answer choices again. Okay. <laughs> it's A, scissoring. B. B, hair splitting. C, the big chop. Or D, chop. she C, the big chop. It's C, the big chop. The big chop. Well, I think you tell them what scissoring is. Scissoring, so... Or good. we can go to another question. Yeah, we can go to another question. I think we should explain what scissoring is so you don't go around and be like, girl, you scissor. <laughs> no, don't do that. So, scissoring is when two lady parts do this. 
together. And it feels really. Hey. Merry Christmas. All right, this is for everybody. This is for everybody in the crib. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go. Everybody got a microphone. Uh, what does it mean if she dreamt the fish last night, according to your mom? Uh-oh. Is it A, bad luck? B, somebody break C, somebody get married? Or D, money? Somebody break it. Somebody break it. Somebody break it. They dream of a shark. You have between. You have between. I heard a shark one. That's good to know. I never heard a shark one. Oh, yeah. We oh, the shark. shark. We didn't do that. Baby shark. 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 I don't know what it is. You got somebody kids on my I used to be a teacher and that was our favorite song. You used to be, hey, hold on, hold on. Say it again. I used to be a teacher and that was our favorite song. Mm-hmm. You was trying to make the fun of that. <laughs> China Shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all ready for the next one? How many fights did the Fresh Prince get into before his mom got scared? Is it A, five, B, one, C two or D three. Right, hold on, let me say this. Let me say this. The answer is not on there. It is on there. It's not on there because he got in one little fight. He got in one little fight. Huh? But that's what he said. It's it's one, one, yeah, fight. but the, the question said how many little fights did he get into? Oh, did he say little fights? How many little fights did the oh, West Prince get into okay. before his mom got scared? One. 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 He got in one little fight. He got a tough. I got in one little fight and my, my mom got scared. It's such a movie. We got a team of Uncle and Bel Air. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. y'all ready? I don't think, I don't see who, who knows this. Which university did the first lady, Michelle Obama, attend for undergrad? Clark and Lemon. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. It just sounds like the blackest college. Is it A, Howard, Howard, B, Yale, C, University of Chicago, or D, Princeton? The Chicago. Princeton. Howard University. Chicago. Princeton. She was the first got it right. I do watch y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. Don't apologize to us for being smart. Good job. That made us smart. All right, step in the right direction. It's a person that I be on show. So this is for our movie lovers. Y'all ready? Okay, here we go, here we go. In paid in full. Where did Ace work while dealing drugs? Is it A, the pizza shop? B, the grocery store? C, the dry cleaners? Or D, the laundromat? Laundromat. The cleaners. He was in the cleaners. I think we should answer these personally. Oh, personally? I think everybody should have their own question to see if they know it. Let's do it. Okay. Because, like, some people get quiet when they don't know something. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hurry up. Get ready. Here's Let's go. go. So first. First up, Brian. Let's go. Yours is easy. You need a man. Who played Ricky from Boys in the Hood? Is it A, Ice Cube, B, Tupac Shakur, get a nigga no, uh, C, Morris Chestnut, or D, Cuba Good Jr.? C, Morris Chestnut. Ricky! Is that your final answer? Yep. D. D. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? I go. <laughs> Come on, Ray. Nice skin. Come, Come on. All right, Ray. If you get this wrong, we fuck you up. Can't go do it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> his mind is Can't telling him no, but his body is telling him yes. Sean Ray. Can I get Robert Kelly? Right, how much? How much you got, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> I got like five ounces of change. I'll take the change in the five. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Robert Kelly. He is correct. It's telling them yes. It's telling them yes. It's my telling them no because you're too young. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to ask I'm going to ask I'm going to read it like his mindset like, no no she's she's a baby don't do it Aura yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) his mindset boy you better get that Mm -hmm. it ain't going to get no younger All right. uh, (laughs) I'm going to ask Donovan this question I feel like everybody know this who was Steve Urkel's cool alter ego is it A. Stan B. Scotty C. Oh, Stefan or D. Sean? C. Stefan. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Give it to him. Yeah! Hey, he looked a little worried at first. I was like, come on, Doc. You got to do this. Come on, man. Don't, <laughs> hey, you got to have faith against me. I know that's right. Don't doubt me. All right, come on, China. China. You ready? China. 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 No. You ready, China? No. I got you. I'm not going to let you fail. That's what he said. You got to fail. No. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. 
Right. Now, this is no right or wrong. It's preference, okay? And then everybody will get to weigh in because this is a majority rule answer. Which R&B songstress would you want to have your back in a fight? Is it A, K. Michelle, B, Rihanna, C, Keisha Cole, or D, Solange? I because she where I'm from, and we ride it down. Oh, Memphis, okay. I'll take you, I'll take you, Rihanna, because she take punch. I'm going to take you, Rihanna, because you take punch. I'm going to take you, Rihanna, because you take punch. Salon being comes up in the elevator. Oh, damn, bro. Hey, hold on, we got to take that down. Say that again. Why you take you, Rihanna? Rihanna, you take punch. I'm taking her. Ooh, that's deep. Yeah, that is deep. I'm picking Salon for an entirely different reason. I'm picking Salon because of what she did in the elevator. Yeah, I'll pick Salon. That's because he did swing back. Like, we know for sure, like, if she get hit, she might go to sleep. If Solange got my back in the fight, she got back door, bro. Huh? If Solange got my back in the fight, she got back door. So she can get one of them haymakers off the. I just need you to take that. So y'all didn't see Kevin Sherry and all those loving about. I seen her throw a candle and shake. That's reality TV. So true. You out here waiting for somebody else to get punched before you get punched. I'm going to start to argue me. You take that punch and then I'm going to take, take off. Take that punch. And then I'm going to jump off. That's all I'm talking about. You know what I mean? All right. Who's next? Who did you go? Threat. I ain't been. Threat say go? Let Threat go down. Okay, Threat. What do you need to do? You ready? I'm scared. Should you go ahead, go. No, 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 no let's go, Threat. Let's go, Lace. Oh, man. Lace front. Hey, that's a, nice that's a good model one. for you. If you oh. got beards. Matter of fact, do you do beards? Have you started into the lace front oh, beard? Oh my God. Okay, you should start into the lace front beard. I'm not even asking for this right now. That's two pages. You might be able to put it down. No, that, he, you can use something. Show him what you got after the, after the thing. And Show then, me what you're working with. Like, you know, <laughs> All right, you ready, Greg? You ready, Greg? Before yeah. parallel parking, you should, and this is majority group, okay? Before parallel parking, you should A, adjust your side mirrors, B, adjust your seat. C, adjust your rear view mirror, or D, turn down your radio. Turn down your radio. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pump you got a pump There's two reasons they should turn down the radio. You can either hit a pothole or you about to parallel park. Oh, you know, you're you turning it down. All right, Drew, okay. you ready? This is a double one, okay? Okay. So the first one, what was Eddie Murphy wearing in his comedy special deliveries? Oh, oh a red it? leather suit. Oh! For sure. I, see. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one was Raw or Delirious. I was like, Raw was purple. Right. Raw was purple. Okay, Raw was and purple. who played Pop on House Party? Is uh, it? Uh, Robert. That's no. his name. No. No, not Bro, you party. House Party. Oh. Uh, you real bug guys, bro. I know. Yeah. I know so, A, Bernie Mac. No. B, John Witherspoon. No. C, Robin Harris. Robin Harris. Robin Harris. That's what it is. Robin Harris. There it is. Or Robin D, John Harris. Harris. And but Bernie Mac was somebody said, uh, daddy in one of the movies, right? Nah, he wasn't nobody. Was he was his uncle. uncle. He was the uncle. Uh, he was like, if no, nobody don't like you for who you like, who he is. F him. F him. F him. F him. Get the wall. Thank you, Bernie. He said, I know who you is. Who's ready to win some hair, man? Who's ready? Who's ready to win some free hair? Let's get it. What we need? All right, I'm gonna ask one question. Okay. I say go after I ask the question. The first one answer. Play first. Don't play first. I don't. Okay. This one was like tape first. Okay. Or, 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 <laughs> or we're not gonna stop the table. We're just gonna answer the question like so. Okay, like, that's fine. Oh, raise my hand first. No, we ain't gonna pay attention to that. Go ahead. Yeah, lay down. You can see me in the corner. So, <laughs> wow. Who has the highest quality hair extensions? Dean's version hair. He did mad. Yeah, he we have a winner. Yeah, he we have a winner. Look at that. We have a winner. We have a winner. Hey, Brian G. Brian G. Hey, y'all know I'm finna break these bundles. Hey, I'm finna, I'm finna break these bundles into my beard. It's finna go down this week. So, Brian, which rapper would you bring back? Who? Biggie, Tupac, Heavy D, or Pimp C? Your whole way. Oh, Pimp C. Ooh. Yo. Who you bring it back? Ooh. That's a hard one. You better say and if you answer it wrong against everybody in the majority. That's you. a hard one. You know why it's hard? Because I knew Pim personally, so I, I would like to have Pim back. Mm -hmm. But musically, I kind of want to rock with Pop. Like, I, I, as far as the catalog and everything, just to see, I'm, I don't know who to pick out of them two, but that's hard. Just give a shot. That's Pop. hard. I, but for the text, I'm, I, I, I feel like I do he's wrong by not saying Pimp C. I'm Pimp C. Okay, so this Sorry. is Damn, that was hard. That was a hard one. This then I'm going to make me tear up. <laughs> this is going to be our last our last black card, okay? Yeah. Who is most liable to get cussed out at the cookout? You ready? And okay. this is for everybody, okay? Right. Including you, Donna. Okay. 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 Hey, the person who messed up the potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
See, the one that's reneging his face. Oh. See, the one that didn't bring nothing. Or D, the one who walked in and didn't speak. You want to walk in and didn't the potato speak? Salad, Bro, all man. of them. Mess up potato salad. All of them. All of them. I will tell you that, that, that his face, if silly. you renege his face, you might yet. get beat up. You yeah. might, yeah. You, you might depend on shot. That's yeah. gonna go from there to the end. Hey, but you know how my mama, my mama is about not speaking to Bro, me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna like, 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 Do this. Like, speak. Look. So you better get on Favorite that. set phrase is, ain't nobody sleep with you last night. Yeah, for sure. You gotta speak. You gotta speak. Yeah, that's a big one. So that's the one? Yeah, you gotta speak. You gotta speak. You gotta speak. You can't even do all that stuff. You can't even. Where you can't get to the potato salad, you can't get to the space table if you don't speak. You can't. Ain't you can't. You can't put out. I ain't gonna lie though. You still ain't bringing bad potato salad to the cookout. Like we ain't going out on a limb. Not real talk. So if it's bad, we already know it's bad from last year. And we are not going out on a limb. Like okay, so she bring the potato. Nah, we already know. We know we ain't gonna eat it. When you, when they tell you who cooking it, like who cooking the potato salad? Shirley cooking it. You cook potato salad. I ain't eating it. Shirley, 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 to cook out, you ask who cook what, so you know what to stay away from. Bro, in the family meeting, bro, if Shirley says she couldn't potato salad, you say, nah, I ain't Shirley, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with my potato oh, yeah, salad? Oh, yeah, that's everybody. It's just, <laughs> if y'all got something to say, go on and just say it. Uh -huh. All that gonna turn up, Helen. Hey, Helen, I'm tired of you putting them unborn eggs in that potato salad. <laughs> Mine still had yolk in it. All right, one more. <laughs> Which TV mom do you wish was your own? Ooh. A, Claire Huxtable. B, Harriet Winslow. C, the black unveil. Or D, Mama Payne. Mama Payne. Mama Payne. <laughs> Okay. I don't know, Mama Payne got the business for us. Up there was classy. She was educated and she was Which breaking one? all the black ones. I'm okay. not talking about the light skinned ones. I'm talking about the one that was like, See? she was going to back for a lot, bro. I'm talking about one black. Oh, no. Claire Hustle was, was, was. Oh, bro. Bro. Like, if y'all watched the episode when she told her Elvin was like, oh, yeah. uh, when he was talking is. about what a, what a woman should be, and yeah. she was like, no, I do because I choose to. And I was like, oh, I like that. I like that. That's why Claire Hustle allowed Bill Cosby to be with her. Uh, All right, go to a mix. Why? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying, China? It's like you don't really just say stuff until you about to say something crazy. So when you start, we you want to comply. I ain't never been with you. Stop lying to these people. <laughs> so can I ask one more? Yeah. Because I know that we have a person that has to turn over their black card. So if you haven't watched this movie, you need your black card revoked. Oh. Is it A, Boys in the Hood? B, The Wiz? C, The Color Purple? Or D, Roots? The Color Purple. You have to have seen Roots. Everybody seen Roots and everything else. Uh, the color purple. Uh, if you haven't seen the color purple, bro, you need to cut black card. Um, what? Which raising hand? I haven't seen Roots. Bye, Felicia. Hey. I'm we watched that elementary. Oh, you know what's funny? Remember that day we was talking about Toby? And she kept saying something about Toby. She didn't know what we were talking about? Oh. Uh, I didn't get that she didn't know what we were talking about. Oh. I mean, is that a big thing? You know what I mean? Yes. 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 It, I just seen like, on the ground right, bro. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> Oh, okay. I gotta watch Roots today then. Roots alone, though. No, you gonna watch it today. <laughs> no, you might, but I mean, it's gonna be no. long. If I watch Roots today, it. the full collection it's like of Roots is like eight time. hours. No, it's not. It's like six. That is so it's longer than Django? Are you watching the new Roots or the old Roots? The old one. The old one, the old one is like eight, though. I've never seen that. I mean, I, my life is different. You might be right. I gotta watch it 28 hours. They had it on TV one well, one year, bro. In the summertime, I'll never forget this. And my daddy made us all come inside during the summertime. Every time, every for four days for a week yeah. and watch the roots. I never did. Y'all, this was funny. Okay. What might your mama say after beating your ass? A, you hungry? No. B, go to your room. C, go read a book. D, fix your face. Fix your face. Fix your face. Fix your face. How do you fix your face if you get a whole ass? I thought it was going to say this hurt me more than it hurt you. Nah, my mama ain't going to say that. Fix your face. Hi, Ron. This was for you. If your mentor don't trust you, what might you do? Shoot you. All right, we gotta go, y'all. We gotta get out of here, y'all. I know it's fun. What can they find you on social media? Oh, these Universal Hair on Instagram, Facebook. Come follow me, Instagram and Facebook. These Universal Hair. So that's the comma to the top is. Universal hair. Come to the top. Come to the top. Instagram is at these universal hair. Facebook is just these universal hair. Okay. You know how many? Hey, so so let me ask you a question real quick before we get out of here. How many women that offered you 
some of that po po, some of that did half half. Oh man. Every single one. Every single one. Every single one. <laughs> I am in the wrong business. <laughs> a lot of women. But you can't be weak and give in. Right. right. So speaking of women, I got a question for you. According to men, what is something that women should still do? A. Cook and clean. B. Stay at home. C. Had them babies. Or D. Know they place. Cooking clean. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Well, that was a set of questions. You don't answer that question. You set me up up here. You ain't never been here before. See, well, earlier when I was saying fifth, sometimes you gotta take your life. Okay, I'll be the fifth. You should say, what, two, three, four? Fifth. Y'all so many minutes. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm gonna text you my own. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. Make sure you tune in next week. It's going down. It's going down. I'm about to go watch the Texans and the Cowboys play. Shout out to the Houston Texans. Houston Texans. The one in three Texans. I don't try this like two and two. Better than y'all. And so when we win this game today, we're going to say really. No, we See y'all later. Shout out to the um, Houston Texans or their cute jerseys or whatever. Um, shout out to the Dallas <laughs> Cowboys for being that team, America's team. You know what I'm talking about? Because we ride for us. Let's get it. It's Catch that 22 really Radio. Is that really y'all saying we ride for us? No, motherfucker. It's Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.